If your wife is cheating on you and you're wondering why she just won't tell you the truth and come clean, I'm going to give you three reasons why. One, it's probably worse than you suspect. Even if it's not physically worse than you suspect, it's definitely worse in her mind than you suspect. In other words, she's probably pining away for this guy really hard in a bad way. And she's just like, if you knew the thoughts that are going through my head, you would be very upset. So she's not going to tell you the whole truth. She's going to just like try to feed you pieces of it, pieces of it pieces of it, if any at all. Usually they'll stonewall and say, I don't want to talk about it. Why can't we just move past this? Why can't we just put this behind us? Why can't you just learn to trust me? I'm never going to do it again. And you shouldn't trust her. You should learn to trust her. Trust is something that is earned. So when she breaks the trust, you should not just learn to trust her. You'll trust her when you find, feel that she's actually trustable. There's a big distinction there. Two, if you knew what was really going on, you'd probably decide to leave her completely. Now, the thing is, she needs you. She needs you for at least your resources, your time and attention when she's feeling lonely as her backup plan. And if you're the husband and you find out that she's cheating on you, you're the provider, not the lover. So nobody wants to be just the provider and not the lover. I mean, that's the whole point of the marriage. It's the whole point of being with a woman. So like nobody wants to deal with that. That's like one of the worst things ever. You're just a cash cow. Time and attention, gifts, favors. Oh, I need new tires. It's ridiculous. Usually women do not want conflict they cannot control. So you'll be with a woman. She'll yell and scream at you, call you names, act like you're a piece of of you know what and the thing is is that you're like well my wife seems to be fine with conflict yeah because she can control it and she can control you but once you get upset she's the first one to go oh my gosh i'm scared even though you would never do anything in your life you just got frustrated upset and angry she's like you're yelling at me you're abusive see that's not conflict she can control she will always obfuscate the truth she will not tell you the truth because it keeps you under her thumb it keeps you under control it keeps you in a place that she knows that she can keep you keep you copacetic keep you calm. You'll be upset. It'll destroy you. But she keeps you under control. She still keeps you under thumb. When you start to leave her, she'll come back and say, oh, hey, I love you. And she'll rope you back in. And then when she ropes you back in, she'll push you away and say, no, 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 I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. And then when you push away, she'll say, no, 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 come back. But the thing is, you never get to the place you really want to be, which is actually together again, because she doesn't want to be with you. But she doesn't want to tell you that. She won't tell you the truth. If you want to know more, go to genuineattraction.com. My name is Ed Baxter.